Hello friends, it's Natasha. It's a dumbbell and mobility or body weight exercise, alternating quick warm up here and we'll get into the drills. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up, exhale, forward fold. Drop into a forward fold all the way. Let your head be heavy, sway. Shake out that head, yes and no. Anything that feels good for you. And then we're gonna step it back to a downward facing dog. Walk the feet back, spread your fingers. Take some time to paddle out, bending one knee and then the other, drawing your chest towards your toes. High heels and low heels. Spinal wave forward through up dog. Exhale, round and press back. Bringing your knees down for some cat cow articulating the spine and really just any stretches you need to do. You can do some little side bending, twisting, shoulders back, shake out the shoulders, the wrists. We are gonna do some weight bearing on the hands, so bring your wrists into different positions. Blink the fingers, circle the wrists. Take a few more moments to prep anything that might be feeling tight hamstrings, shoulders, and then I'm setting you up for your first exercise. We're gonna be picking up one dumbbell for this one. It will be a snatch to a high pull, alternating arms. Make your way onto your feet. You will see a quick countdown. Go ahead and pick up a single Four, dumbbell. We have two, a snatch all one. the way up and then a high pull halfway up. Lift and high pull, switch hands. You can do that on the ground or if you're more comfortable just switching in the hands, that's okay too. One big snatch, one high pull. A snatch is like a high pull that keeps going up. It's explosive. Use the strength of your hips and your legs to thrust that up with power High pull, throw it up. High pull, switch hands. Connect to the breath as you explode up. Give it a big exhale. And really engage into the feet as well. Core is on for stability. Three, two, and that was your one. first 45 seconds there. You have 15 seconds to rest. Moving into drill two, it's a kick through to an abdominal roll. Come into a hovering table. Make sure you have room side to side here. Spread your fingers, push your shoulders down, hover the knees and go. You're gonna kick through and roll down and up. Hands in front of the straight leg, roll down and up for the abs, jump, kick through, upper body. You got it. You don't have to work at my pace if you wanna go a little slower or maybe faster. And you can also do a big jump on the kick through and get those hips up into like a mini handstand, or you could just walk it across without even jumping. Three, two, one. Great job, 15 seconds rest, grab your dumbbells, two this time. We're gonna come onto our back, bridge chest work. Three chest presses and you're gonna come into a hollow body, low leg lift hold. Elbows out 90 degrees, here we go. Lift and lower for three, two, engage the glutes and hamstrings and the chest and shoulders. Then lift the shoulders and extend the legs out into a low boat, grounding into the low back. You have three chest presses with the bridge lower body lift and then a low hollow body hold. So you're grounding into the low back, shoulders up, arms stay up, legs kick out nice and low. You got it. Get that pattern down and then just breathe and push. Your choice, how quickly or slowly you're moving. Focus on strength and breath. Three, two, one. Perfect. 15 seconds to put your weights down and come up to standing. We're gonna start with a deep squat. 
pull your hips forward, lean back into a sissy squat modification, Three, drop onto the two, knees, little camel, one. roll back. Here it goes, squat, knees come forward, back bend, and then roll onto the heels and stand, and we have an opposite elbow to knee tap. Take your time getting the sequence, you'll have another round to practice it. It's a squat, knees to the ground, little back bend, toes to heels, stand, elbow to knee, twist. If you have sensitive knees, pad them up. Roll your blanket or a towel underneath your knees as you come forward and try to lean away in opposition to land really light through the knees. This one is great for the ankles, the feet, hips, and of course those strong legs that are working. Three, two, one. You made it through the first four drills. You're gonna take a little break, whether that means some stretches, drinking water, walk around, or maybe you wanna do some cardio, some jumping rope, jumping jacks in place. We're gonna go into four different exercises, but don't worry, we'll come back to the top after three rounds of new drills to repeat the whole series. And if you only have time to do them through once, that's okay too, but just know we have the opportunity to hit each exercise round twice. Go ahead and think about grabbing your dumbbells and setting them out shoulder width apart so we can do a plank. When you see the timer countdown start, you can get into plank position. One push up, one renegade row. Elbow pulls up right past the rib cage. Each side, right, left. Then we'll jump in for a mini squat. Here we go. Plank position, push up and row. Push up, other side, row. Jump forward, bicep curl. Come back, reset. Pretty simple. Take it on your own pace. Try not to rock the hips too much. Stabilize from the core. Sit back on your heels, bicep curl. You can do that with some power, a little bit of momentum if your weights are very heavy, or it could be a dead stiff bicep curl just using strength. Great work. Set the weights aside out of your way. We're doing a fire hydrant, lateral leg raise, a forward leg raise, and then we're gonna jump onto the hands, little handstand leg switch to get to the other side. Here we go, starting a forward fold. Leg raise, side, forward, you can lift the shoulders, then bring your hands down and take a little jump switch. Lateral, side leg raise, forward leg raise, lift the shoulders, and then jump switch on the hands. It might take you a try or two to get that kick up and switch legs. You don't have a lot of room here. Hopefully you have more space than me. It doesn't have to look like a handstand, but maybe it does if you have that in your practice. Three, two, one. Great work. Go ahead and take your 15 seconds of rest and grab your heavy single dumbbell, just one this time. We're doing a stag leg bent over row to a Three, one where you're two, balancing with the one. leg lifted. Here you go. Bent over row with stag leg. Row, lift the body, then lift the leg, one bent over row balancing. Switch hands, tap your toe back, bent over row stag. Lift the leg and see if you can do it. Balancing in that warrior three position. If you're struggling, you can always do two with the stag leg and skip the balancing one. Three, two, one. Great work, you have 15 seconds to set the weight down. 
We're gonna set up like we're doing a windmill or a triangle pose. We're doing one bent knee side angle lunge, one triangle or windmill, deep yogi squat. Here you go. The direction you're going, point those toes, one bending side bend, and then one straight leg side bend. Come into Malasana, yogi squat, repeat other side. Bend the knee, straighten the knee and dip. Sweep into a little yogi squat there. Bent knee, side bend, straight leg, side bend, stack shoulders. Sweep your arm around, open up the knees and toes for that low yogi squat. Take the time to go where it feels right. Find those edges. You don't have to race through this. Turn your toes, side bend. Push your hips away, stack shoulders, and then sweep into that low yogi squat. You're gonna move your Three, knees and ankles two, in the way one. that it feels right and good. Perfect. Here's your one minute break. Your choice, whether it's something active and athletic or you're just walking around drinking some water, stretching maybe. One of the drills I'm gonna preview shortly, it's a duck lunge, little short range lunge. You're gonna rock back to a pistol squat or you could sit and then rock forward out of it, leg lift or a little warrior three glute squeeze leg lift. Showing you here, it's not the first one but it will be coming up so just to get a sneak peek here. All right, for now pick up one dumbbell single dumbbell work, rack your three, weight, three squats, two, triangle one. or windmill. Here we go, sit back for three pulsing squats and then turn your toes the direction you're gonna side bend to, windmill or triangle if you take yoga. We did this in the body weight section last round without the weight, now we're loading weight over the head. Really push that arm, try not to let the elbow sag. Feel the lats, the serratus, the shoulders as you keep that strong pressing up feeling. Sit back in the heels, butt back, three pulses, turn your toes and charge into the windmill. We'll hit the other side in the third exercise. Three, two, one. Awesome job. Set the weight down. Here comes that little duck lunge, pistol squat, rock forward, balancing stick. Take a breather. Set yourself up in the middle of your mat. Save space behind two, you. One. Stag one leg and go. That short range lunge to the ground, rock back, pistol, rock forward, and charging leg lift. Switch legs. Duck lunge. Roll back to the heel if you can. Rock forward and balance. Airplane, that, that move has so many names. Keep it up, find a nice pace, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Perfect. Come on up, grab your single heavy dumbbell. We're doing the other side here. So make sure you're switching hands. Three pulsing squats into that windmill or triangle with the Three, arm over the head. Two, one. Go. Pulse it down. Three, two, one. Small move. Punch it up and dip to the side. You did it, set the weight down, come down to seated. We're gonna do a little abdominal Russian twist into a 
kneeling hip thrust, side Three, plank kind of two, thing. One. You'll get it. Here we go. Take those legs side to side, Russian twist. Three, two, one, and then roll onto the knee and do an elbow knee tap. Three, two, one, roll the other way, knee and elbow tap. So you're kind of pressing up into a kneeling side plank after three Russian twists. Abs twist, 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 stay, and knee thrust. Twist, 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 three times so that you alternate when you lift into that tucked knee position. Might feel a little awkward, but hopefully you get it down. And of course, you can make any little changes that might feel better for your body. Three, two, one. Great job. We're going to do a little abdominal sequence before we repeat the whole three rounds again. So you can come onto your back and we'll take a low boat to a tuck. Ground into the low back. Open up, tuck it in. Open up and tuck knees to chest. You can grab on or just use that compression. Now rocking to an L, opposite twist, leg lift and lower. Grab onto your leg, twist back, lift lower. See if you can get that down. Little teaser, grab onto one leg, rotate back, leg up, leg down. So it's like a twist, L, twist, leg up, leg down. So opposite hand grabs foot, and then add that little lift lower of the leg. Get ready to roll yourself into plank, hands down, jump back, 10 push-ups. You can do these on the knees, opposite shoulder tap as you rise. When you're done with 10, up dog, open up the front body, exhale down dog. We are going right into round two. Stand up, grab one dumbbell, snatch high pull and go. Snatch, high pull, switch hands. You can switch it at the bottom by setting it down or just bringing it into the other hand. I'm gonna cue less since you should be more familiar with the drills this time. Maybe blast some fun music and just push yourself. Three, two, one. 15 seconds rest. Remember, going into kick throughs. Come down to a hovering tabletop. Kick through, roll down the abs, roll up the abs, go to the other side. Spread those fingers, push the shoulders down, squeeze into the core. Here you go. Kick through, roll down, roll up. You're going to keep the back knee bent so that when you roll up, you turn towards the straight leg and kick through the other way. Three, two, one. Awesome. 15 seconds to grab your dumbbells. Come down on your back. We have those three chest presses with the bridge to a low boat hollow body hold. Carefully come down, three, elbows wide. Two, one. Go. Bridge three, down, up, down, two. Exhale to rise, push into those feet, and then lower onto the low back. Lift your shoulders, lower your legs. Low body hold.
three, two, one. Perfect. Set the weights down. Come onto your feet. Deep squat. Lean back for that sissy lower. Press the hips forward. Quick back bend. Heart opener. Roll three, back. Elbow to two, knee at the top. One. Here we go. Deep squat. Knees down. Hips forward. Roll back. Stand. Elbow to knee. Make sure you're doing opposite elbow to knee when you come up so you are alternating. Awesome. Those were the first four drills. First round, we have round two and three to go. Take your time to do whatever it is you're up for. Set up your dumbbells for round two. We have the plank, push-up, renegade row, jump forward, bicep curl. You row to each side, so two push-ups, and then the jump forward, bicep curl. Set Three, yourself up. Two, one. Go, push-up, row, push-up, row, jump in, bicep curl. Take it, let's go. Fifteen seconds rest. Move the weights far away. Come into that little side leg fire hydrant, forward leg raise, and then the handstand. So you don't want to kick your weights here. Start in a forward fold. Pick a side. Here we go. Lateral leg raise, forward leg raise, and then that little handstand jump switch. I should have turned. Don't know why I didn't. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds rest. Grab a single dumbbell. Take the weight into your right hand, stag the right leg back. Bent over row, and then try to do a single leg bent over row. Here you go. Dip it down, lift the elbow, and then lift the body and take it into that single leg like a warrior three deadlift bent over row. Switch hands, switch legs. Left, leg back row, switch hands at the top. Three, two, one. 
two, one. Great work, 15 seconds. Side angle, bend the knee, side lunge, and then straight legs, triangle, windmill, deep yogi squat to switch sides. Turn your toes the direction you're gonna side bend towards. Here you go, sweeping side bend, bent knee, straight knees, open up the heels and toes, malasana, yogi squat. Lift to stand, do it on the other side, side bend. Straight legs, open up knees and toes, sit deep and stand. Perfect. You are on your rest. You have one more round of drills to go. Go ahead and pick up that weight. Three pulsing squats, Three, press windmill. Two, one. Stay on one side, here you go. Three pulsing squats, turn your toes, side bend, punch the shoulder up, elevate it. Strong side body, strong legs, obliques. Use the breath, exhale, charge, and bend. Set the weight down. Remember that duck lunge. Rock back to pistol, rock forward, balancing stick, glute squeeze, warrior three, airplane. I never know what three, to call it. There's so many two, names. One. Go. Duck lunge, rock back, balance if you can, then rock forward, charge it up. Alternating legs. Don't forget to switch on this one. Perfect, come on up, grab your dumbbell again. Other side this time, make sure you're switching hands. Three pulsing squats, press to windmill. Three, Rack the weight at the two, shoulder, elbow one. stays in. Go. Push back into those heels. Don't let the knees cave in. And then on that side bend, press your hips in opposition. You don't have to go as low as I'm going. See how your hamstrings feel about it. You can always keep the knees bent. Three, two, one. Great work, set the dumbbell down. We have that abdominal, it's the three Russian twists into the kneeling hip thrust, trying to touch elbow to knee. Three, two, one. 
lift into boat go three two one and then the direction the knees are going just pull that knee onto the ground and then thrust the other one up Three, two, one. You got it. We're gonna do that same exact sequence we did one more time, coming onto your back for those tucks to low boat. Knee tuck, low boat. Ground into the low back. Try to pull your arms over your head to make it more challenging. Rock, twist, leg up and down rolling abs switch legs twist back lift lower let me cue the legs so you're gonna roll back grab your right leg right hand back lift and lower the left leg roll grab your left leg left arm twists back right leg lifts and lowers leg lift and twist lift and lower Rotate across the body, use your obliques. Reach back on your fingertips if you need help, or you could try to do it balancing, which is harder. All right, roll into plank on this one. Hands down, jump back. We have push up to shoulder tap. Try to give me 10 here. You could always do these on the knees. Last one, go into upward facing dog, shoulders down, heart open, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. We're gonna do one last little fun exercise on the hands. See if you can jump L switches. Jump switch. Hands down, spread the fingers. Imagine you're trying to break a hole through the ground with your shoulders and your hands, forcing, push down, lift the hips, jump switch. Try to get the hips over the shoulders. If you get too much momentum, open the hips and cartwheel out. You did it. Awesome work. Ragdoll yourself up. Take a nice deep breath with me. Be sure to do some cool down stretches if you need it. And thank you so much for joining. See you next time.